Teddy told me that in Greek, nostalgia literally means the pain from an old wound. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff and Jack from Achievement Hunter. And Jack, I have something a little this different for you. This is Twin Halo. Yeah, I, we don't heart. typically do a this is in Far a game type in an existing game, alone. but I was so blown... Game. It's the most fun I've ever had playing a video game. This device, sure. wow. I, I cannot stop it takes us to a place. And uh, it, like, it's kind of fun to just to sit on again. the side. So I'm really at a loss here for how to start this video out. Do you remember custom games from Halo 3? You either answer no, or of course I remember the happiest time of my life to that question, but regardless of your answer, someone put one of the best Halo custom games into Pavlov VR, and it made me laugh to the point of permanent brain damage. <laughs> this is a little much! This is a little much even for me! Oh my god! <laughs> now the reason I'm so delirious playing on this map was in part because of yes, the map is insane in VR, but also the setup that got me there. What drugs did I take to see these hallucinations? I don't know. I started out just by trying to host a lobby of the Halo Swords map for the Twitch chat, but that map turned out to be completely broken in every way. This is, this is so dumb. You look like you look like wasps. So I was left to my own devices, live, when a smooth brain in the lobby decided that they had some maps that they could show me. We're playing Pig Difficult because it's one of the it's it's modern art. What is pig difficult? And this is the internet equivalent of trusting the dude behind your school in a trench coat to drive you home safely. I don't know why I agreed. And what followed was a fever dream like nothing I had ever experienced before. <laughs> There's a pig! I don't know where these maps come from. I don't want to even try to understand them or explain them to you. I just wanted you to know that when I got to the Halo map, I was already in a compromised state. Is this where we go when we die? I had been laughing pretty good up to this point, and then this map just hit me like a sack of wet concrete. Oh my god, I'm crying. This map completes the holy triumvirate of Halo content in Pavlov. We have campaign, sort of, multiplayer 100%, and now custom games. And I honestly can't think of a better Halo custom game to get the VR treatment than Speed Halo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we hit that cloud going Bach 3. Oh my god. Seeing a truck the size of a truck hurtling towards you in 3D is fantastic. I love being a zombie on this map. It looks and plays just like the original Speed Halo, just in 3D. Oh no! Holy cow! Honestly, it's kind of fun being a clown too. The only difference is instead of a warthog, it's your uncle's 1979 Ford F-150, and instead of Spartans, it's cowboy fanfiction and clowns ripped from your nightmares. But it's not a huge deal that the gameplay is the same, and I've used the term mongoose interchangeably with ATV my entire life. At least they look the same. Oh no! Uh, we're, we're, we're going on a pilot! Come on. Oh no! But beyond the zombie gameplay, being in the car is where the actual magic happens. I'm sweating and I have a headache. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. Sitting in any of the passenger seats, you will always be facing right side up. Which is fun because you can really keep track of where you are, where the zombies are, and how absolutely ridiculous this 1,000 pound vehicle spinning around you looks. It's speeding up. It's getting faster and faster. Oh no! But the driver's seat is what I like to call the interstellar vomitorium. What is happening? What does he look like that? <laughs> uh, oh my god. In the driver's seat, you are aligned with the car, not gravity. And when you look at what the cars look like from the ground, it's probably the worst possible setup for anyone who gets motion sick in VR. But if you have passengers with you, watching them approach terminal velocity and rip a hole in space-time is priceless. <laughs> I'm crying! My stomach hurt for days after this stream. I haven't laughed this hard at a video game in a very long time. And I love it for that. I don't know if I can do that again. Holy shit, we just collapsed! This, I'm gonna be playing this map all week. This is incredible. Oh. Pause, skip to this time code to just get back to the content. For everyone that is still here though, uh, people are starting to get confused as to what this is, just because it's been months now. Uh, some people are thinking this is a Patreon thing that I chose to do voluntarily. 
Uh, it's not. My patrons have a nice little chat in the Discord. We hang out, we tell each other good morning. It's lovely. This monstrosity is for channel members because I did one live stream months ago and wanted emojis. YouTube wouldn't let me make only one tier, so I had to make three tiers, all with perks, and here we are because of one live stream I did on YouTube in February. One. And yes, obviously I like money. I'm telling people to stop out of my own conscience. That's the only way I feel okay taking it. Again, here's the time code to get back to the content because it's a new month, so the silk brains are back. I have to verbally torment over 50 people right now. So without further ado, Stop it. Get some help. And of course, to mention the psychopaths that we have to mention every video. Ruga, Archer, Brady K, Lucky Digger, Cool Kid, It's a Hobbit, Spastic Ninja, David S, Cake Surf, Open Red Snow, Fluffy Smooth Brain 2, Straight to Brazil, Spaz Ninja, Not Spastic Ninja, Arrow but Cursed, Guess What Ninja Again, Spastic Ninja Upside Down, and Screw You Hub. Once again, I say this every time because I hope it sinks in. I, I, it means so much to feel this level of support. I've said multiple times how much this is changing my life. I'm really thankful. But if you think you're getting out of this without seeing Michael Jordan, you're mistaken. Stop, Stop it. it. Get some help. And I love that I found it the same way I found all of my Halo custom games back in the day. Just a random person spreading them to me like some sort of venereal disease. Nice. Nice. This is a nice and straight. Nice and straight. I don't know what it is about Pavlov and Halo specifically. It's almost as if there's an army of me's out there who grew up playing Halo and are now in their 20s and really into VR. Someday, I'm sure we will have a legitimate Halo VR game to satisfy that segment of the market. But for now, I love seeing the sometimes scuffed, sometimes inspired custom maps that the community can come up with on its own. Not to say that this map is, is at all scuffed. There's plenty of features within it. Uh, there's apparently a tank round that comes up randomly. That's a pretty cool feature. I'm sorry, it's a tank round? For now though, uh, that's all I got. Like this video if you feel like it. But as always, make sure to love yourself first. I hope something good happens to you today. I, I genuinely do, wherever you are out there. Uh, if this is the last time you ever hear my voice, bye. I, I hope you have a good rest of your existence. For the smooth brains that stick around, I will see you again who knows at this point. I'm so out of games to play. I know there's probably a million good indie games out there, uh, but I just keep playing the Master Chief Collection, and, and that's that's all I got. So, yep. All right. Goodbye. Oh, 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 God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've entered the Matrix. <laughs>